already given me all you need according to my rich and glory. Can you handle me and bless? So the idea, so so this is we'll, we we'll go back and read this on Sunday. So the, and lastly, we think not only service, sermon or speak, we think serenity. Serenity. What's serenity mean? Serenity means just perfect peace. Once, once you have had life without peace, and you finally get peace, you don't want to go back to not having peace. Amen. We think serenity. I, I, see, I, I, I just determined I'm not going to continue to allow stuff in my life to disturb my peace. The devil sends things to disrupt your peace. We hear as shalom, which means peace, and don't have any peace. At some point, we got to start protecting our peace. So it's time to rethink, what, who are we around that always troubles our peace? What are we doing that always troubles our peace? It's time to rethink our serenity and lasting. It's time to rethink this one. It's time to rethink being set up for breakthrough. What are we saying here? That, this, this, that, that, that all these things, that God has revelation for us, we already have, he's already made this available. It's time for us to get ready to receive all God has for us. In fact, we are being set up. We are being set up. God is setting us up to go higher. He is setting us up to do more. He is setting us up. So the question is, are we ready to go higher in the Lord? It's time to rethink being set up for breakthrough. Not only secondly, it's time to rethink church. Secondly, time to rethink community. Time to rethink community. Rethink service for in the church and for the church. What are we saying? We got gifts in here that need to be used out there. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We got some gifts in here that need to be used out there. Rethink community. But not all our gifts are being used out there for service. How are we using our gifts? Not just in here, but out there. What different, in other words, what difference does it make if we don't go and use our gifts? Somebody's being hurt, somebody's being injured, and somebody's being held back. Read this with me again. I have a alignment for my assignment. And last, so that's it I'm giving you right now. It's time to rethink Christmas. Uh oh, wow. Since I'm already in your business, I'm going to go and on up. It's the rethink church, because you know we're about to, you, you know you're being set up by this church thing, right? You do know that everybody's going to have something to do. So uh, that's coming. So we read the community. But it's time to rethink Christmas. Hmm. Rethink Christmas. So, Christmas is the only day, only birthday where we give somebody, we don't even give to the person whose birthday it is. We give gifts to each other on somebody's birthday. Christmas, rethink, what, what if? What, what, what if? We really did something to honor Jesus for Christmas and not just pamper ourselves. Hmm. What if? We gave to Jesus and not just each other this year. Oh, get off, why? Yeah, yeah. What if we took all the money for presents, all the money collectively, we're going to spend on presents? Now, first of all, we are buying presents for people who already have more than they need, be clear. I know, for Christmas. You, you, you can touch anything that you can talk, you can talk about the Easter Bunny, you start talking about Christmas, don't be missing my presents. What if we took all the money we had for presents and put it all together to help a local family who lost everything? What if we took all the money we're going to spend on presents to sponsor a refugee family who's trying to escape political persecution? What if we took all the money we're going to spend on presents and try to help? It created at least one day when children can escape their challenge. What, what if we took all the money we're going to spend? We, we, we giving, we're giving gifts to people who already have more than they need, and we spend all this time in the end to try to find something, and half the folk not even appreciate what we give. What if we get to decide all this money's going to be pooled, and we're going to help let somebody honor Jesus rather than pamper ourselves? Time to rethink. Now, I know the rethinking, okay. I, 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 I'm just going to rethink. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do. Time to rethink health. Time to rethink health. I can't tell you the number of people, especially our Zumba class, come to ask Pastor like, Pastor, he lost all this weight. Girl, you looking good. What did you do? 
And so she goes back and says, we eliminated this, we stopped eating this, we stopped eating that. And like, no, nah, I can't do all that. Now. So then everybody wants to take a pill. Rethink health. This is the part right here. Read this with me right here. It's time to do what? Live long, live long and live strong. Why? Because we belong to Jehovah Jireh. Is it anybody ready to embrace the help, the help that God has for us in the name of the Lord? How to embrace the God? It's time for us to start rethinking help. I remember one of our, uh, our well, she's a partner, you know, every now and then is over, comes in saying at this point, as he said, we gave up bread and washed our car. She's like, oh, now, now I, I, I may not give up this, but I, I got to have a bread and a pasta. So, so the idea, if you want what somebody did, if you want to get what they have, you got to do what they do. Rethink health. One last thing is rethink what? Access. Last part. Rethink access. What does that mean? Rethink access. Please read this with me from Romans 5, 2 from NIV. Through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. What am I saying here? We start off with four. ATM machine. Already has in there what we need. Got to have an ATM card. Got to have a PIN number to make a withdrawal. I got to have access. We now have access by faith to receive all God has for us. We don't need to have more faith. We got to have more belief in the name that's above everything. So the last thing I want you to look at before we think right here. So now this, now this, this is our last part here. Please read this with me. We're talking about isolation and elimination, no contamination. Please read this, please. It's not personal. It's purposeful. Excuse my transformation. Keep going now. So, so what transformation, look what happens. It, when I have isolation and have preparation and then have transformation, can't help but have elevation. Anybody ready to go higher? Yes. Gotta have some isolation. Got to have some preparation. Get, but got to have, got to have, be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And so now, rethink, change your thinking, change your what? Change your thinking, change your, change your thinking, change your, change your thinking, change your life. Here's the last right here. If it does not evolve me, it doesn't involve me. If it doesn't evolve me, it doesn't involve me. If it doesn't help me grow up, don't expect me to show up. At this point, at some point, I've got to change my mindset. We are involved in things that are taking us down instead of causing us to grow. A different mindset, change your thinking, change your life. Time to rethink church and rethink community and rethink Christmas and rethink our health. God, we just thank you now in Jesus' name for being so good, so